I'm back. And I have another problem. Is Apple secretly throttling the transfer speeds of their iPhone 15 Pros and Pro Maxes? It kind of looks like it. When I connect my phone through the cable to my PC, it takes me almost four minutes to transfer that 25 gigabyte file. Now, four minutes is way longer than the 35 to 40 seconds I was expecting. So I take my SSD drive connected to my phone using the files app on the phone to transfer the 25 gigabyte file, 35 to 40 seconds transfer speed. I know that this is a really bold claim, but I've done a lot of testing and I do have some of the data to back this up. And I'm not really sure if this is just incompetence or if they are willfully throttling the speeds to force us into buying their own cables. When buying the iPhone 15 Pro Max, upgrading from iPhone X, I also bought a proper cable at USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit cable that should be fine. It's the same specs that support on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it should be able to transfer files at approximately a gigabyte per second. 10 gigabits is approximately one gigabyte, and that translates into one gigabyte per second. Of course, you have to calculate in overhead and all that kind of crap. Normally, you would get maybe somewhere between 60 and 80% of the theoretical maximum, right? So that's the, so that's what I'm basing this on, and, uh, and as you'll see in some of the tests I do, those numbers check out, but there's something really weird going on. And it gets even worse when I dig deeper into it. So watch the whole video before commenting because there's a lot to cover. First up, the phone. I bought the iPhone 15 Pro Max because it has a much better transfer speed than my old iPhone X. Upgrading to an iPhone 15 Pro Max is not cheap. And since they cheap out on the cable you get in the box, when I bought the phone, I also bought a proper cable, I thought. And it turns out that cable was actually okay, but we'll get to that. So what happens is I take my phone, I have a recording on my phone. It's approximately 10 minutes long. It's 25 gigabytes. Now, based on the theory, that should take at the theoretical maximum, 25 seconds, right? Doing the 60 to 80%, that pans out to about 35 to 40 seconds to transfer that file. Now, when I connect my phone through the cable to my PC, which is a new PC, it has a Thunderbolt 4 ports. So there should be enough capacity in the ports and the SSD is fast enough and everything is fine. So I connect the phone, transfer the file, and it takes me almost three minutes to transfer that 25 gigabyte file. This is way longer than the 35 to 40 seconds I was expecting. And this is where it gets interesting because of course I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong with my computer or something going on, background processes. So I tried this several times, same result. I'm trying to transfer through the file manager, going into picture folder and transferring files that way, as well as using iTunes to transfer to the machine. Same result. So I do the only normal thing. I go out and I buy the Samsung T7 SSD drive that comes with a cable. The drive and the cable is also rated for 10 gigabit, which is, as we know, one gigabyte of data per second. So I take my SSD drive connected to my phone using the files app on the phone to transfer the 25 gigabyte file. And guess what? 35 to 40 seconds. And now I'm like, what? what is going on here? What's happening? So I take the drive, the SSD drive, with a 25 gigabyte file on it, plug it into my computer using the same cable. This is the cable that came with the drive. And then I connect the drive to my computer and transfer the file. And again, 35 to 40 second transfer time. This doesn't compute. I try the cable I bought for the phone, which I thought was maybe one of those, yeah, it says so on the box, but it's not really. I connect the phone with the old cable to my drive transfer the file, and again, I'm getting a transfer time of approximately 35 to 40 seconds. There's nothing wrong with my original cable. There's nothing wrong with the cable that came with the drive. So I try the drive cable to connect my phone to my laptop and transfer the file again. Now it's suddenly at three and a half to four minutes. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I know some of you out there are like, oh yeah, but you're using a PC. Oh, of course it's not gonna work. You have to have a Mac because it's a Mac, all this and that, blah, 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 blah. Of course I thought of that. So I called up my friend. He has a 2022 
MacBook Pro with a Thunderbolt port, fast hard drive, fast SSD inside, jump on the bus, go down to his place, we hook up the phone to his computer, we go into Finder, file, we transfer the file, and oh, it's even slower than on my PC. From an iPhone to an Apple MacBook Pro. Ugh. Now, the only common denominator between all of these scenarios, Apple programmed the driver for the connection between the phone and the PC. Apple also made the driver for the MacBook Pro. So have they not updated the drivers? And they've been out for a long time now. This is not like, didn't come out yesterday, but this really boggles my mind. And it's either gross incompetence on Apple's side, not being able to recognize that a cable is actually capable of transferring at the correct speed, but it does transfer in 35 to 40 seconds from the phone to the SSD. So why is that happening? And why can't it transfer from the phone to the PC at the same time? It, it makes no sense at all. So it's either gross incompetence or Apple is actually throttling this, but I haven't had the opportunity to try this out with a genuine Apple Thunderbolt cable because they cost like $100. And I've already spent $100 on the external SSD from Samsung. And the really stupid part is that it's faster for me to take my phone, record on it, connect it to the SSD, transfer the files, disconnect it, connect the SSD to my PC, transfer the files. And that's faster than transferring the files from the phone directly to the computer. And it shouldn't have to be this way. There is no reason for this to happen. It's a simple file transfer from the phone, which clearly is capable of outputting the file at the correct speed to the SSD. So why can't it do it to my computer? My computer works fine because it's capable of transferring the file from the SSD to my computer, but not from the phone to the computer. Yeah, but there's all these things that has to happen with security and whatnot. And well, why aren't those in place when I copy from the phone to the SSD? It makes no sense. This isn't just a me problem. I went on to the Apple forums to see if somebody else has experienced the same thing. And yes, there are several people who have posted there about exactly the same problem and the same behavior when connecting the phone to the laptop. And they get the runaround from the people answering comments there talking about, oh yeah, but some cables are not this or that and blah, 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 blah. But as with my case, where I've tested the cables and they transfer at the higher speeds just fine. They then tell the people on the forums that, well, I've tested the cables, they can transfer in these scenarios just fine, but they're not working with the phone connected to the computer. And then everything goes silent. So Apple needs to take responsibility for this and fix this. Sometimes I record outdoors, I can't run around with an external SSD connected to my phone, holding it in my hand, filming something out on the streets. I want a simple setup and I bought the phone with a large storage capacity just because I want to be able to store on the phone, transfer when I get home, same in the studio here. I don't want to keep connecting cables from the phone to the SSD and then I have to have a splitter because I use a microphone that's also connected with the USB-C. I want a simple setup and it should work. There's nothing wrong, but I'm a tiny, tiny tuber. I don't even have a thousand subscribers. Hopefully someone out there knows somebody or can help me to pester Linus Tech Tips or I don't know, Gamers Nexus, Marcus Brownlee, and get them to test this, get them to see if they get the same results using other USB 3.2 Gen 2 cables that are supposed to be capable of transferring at these speeds. Let's try to get this issue fixed. But of course, it's not big enough of an issue to have for Apple to care, which is a problem because I paid for the phone with my own money. I want it to work as they promised. I want to be able to transfer my files without having to jump through hoops of transferring it to an external SSD. Yes, I can record directly onto the SSD. As I said, I'm not interested in doing that every time I film. Sometimes I just want to record on my camera and transfer the files. It should be that simple. It's not rocket science. Maybe we can force Apple into actually fixing this issue. That's all I have for today. See you in the next one.